Welcome back to the Fuel Show. Still to come and I in the pit segment, Dennis is going to get a history lesson from Ty, who's going to tell him how Baxter Auto Parts began. But now it's time to turn to our second behind the wheel. It's the 2007 Honda Odyssey minivan. This vehicle began its life in 1995 on the Accord platform. In 2007, it's the third generation, it's on its own platform and it has four new options, including a telescoping tilting steering wheel, a coin holder in the center of the vehicle, a tire monitoring system, along with two new exterior colors. Here's Dennis and Ian to look at the 2007 Honda Odyssey minivan. First category is Q Factor for the Honda Odyssey Touring, and this thing is loaded. I mean, this is the Odyssey with all the toys. It's got a backup camera. It's got the great navigation system. It's got the DVD entertainment system in the back, plus a ton of other stuff. It's packed. I could talk about all those things, but I think you listed all the good stuff. No, I also have, there's rollover protection. There's the Michelin run-flat tires. Uh, there's the tri-zone climate control. Well, you, you kind of took the words right out of my mouth. Uh, Full-length side curtain airbags. You want anything else? Mm, oh, the remote, you can open both siding, sliding side doors and the rear hatch while you're walking up. I guess all I can do now is just kind of ask you how you score it. I gave it a 4.5 for Q Factor. <laughs> Moving right along the curb appeal for the Honda Odyssey Touring, and uh, I can't believe we're actually going to give a decent score to a minivan, but as far as minivans go, I think the Odyssey's where it's at. I love the multi-use vehicle for today's market. It doesn't look bulky, it doesn't really look like a minivan, and I think that's what part of the appeal that so many buyers are these days. Most minivans are very square. They are a van by definition because you look at it and instantly you know what it is. Now, to the regular buyer, you might enjoy the way that it looks. It doesn't really, it's not a Ferrari. Let's not make any qualms about it. It's not a, it's not a muscle car and it's certainly not going to make anybody look good pulling up to dinner. But you can do it in style and not look so out of place besides maybe the soccer field. Well, Besides just kind of being an attractive minivan, the touring package also has the bigger tires and wheels, and it's kind of got a little factory body skirt on it. It does look a little bit more aggressive than the standard Odyssey. And they do tint the glass and things like that. So, I don't know, it's, it's, it's a tough vehicle to score for us, but I like the way it looked overall. Again, it's not a, it's not a modern day classic, but what do you think? Well, uh, I think in the realm of minivans, we're giving it uh, high, high marks, 3.5 for curb appeal. Now it's time for performance for the Honda Odyssey Touring, and 3.5 liter V6 provides plenty of power for this minivan. Yeah, 244 horsepower and 240 pounds-feet of torque. Now, if you think about that, 244 horsepower in a minivan, that's more than a 1984 Corvette, and when that came out, it was mind-boggling for people to see that type of vehicle go 155 miles an hour. I can only imagine what the performance of this van would be if you de-restricted it. Now, I'm sure that there's a speed limiter. I didn't go over 100, I promise. Not in a minivan, anyway. And you can only imagine that if someone actually uncorked this thing, how fast could a minivan really go? 244 horsepower, it's really not that unaerodynamic. Good brakes, it's a big good wedge. steering. It is a big wedge. Could you see 130 in this? Well, the Touring also adds the cylinder deactivation, which uh, helps increase mileage a little bit. It's 19 in the city and about 26 on the highway. Overall, I mean, it's another good score for the Honda Odyssey. 3.75 in performance. Fin Finish is up next for the Honda Odyssey Touring, and I think the important part about this category is the word Honda. Now, I was a little stumped for words in the first segment, but I won't be here. Honda, the word, sums up fit and finish. They are well-engineered, well-put-together vehicles, but it goes beyond that. It's the way that they think out the little things, especially in basically what is a family vehicle. The way that the seats have the fold-flat feature, the lazy Susan in the center console, all the little nooks and crannies for toys, diaper bags. The DVD system is intuitive to wait make the kid in the back enjoy the time in the car. Now, I know that your kids don't like being shoved in the back of a vehicle forever. No, they don't. And the really neat feature that I think it, the Honda Odyssey entails is it's got the remote that pops down out of the ceiling for the DVD player. And then in the back, when the seats are folded up, it's got a nice storage area for groceries so that when you slam on the brakes doing 35 miles an hour, you don't get hit in the back of the head with a can of peas. And nobody likes that. Hey, overall, it's got to be one of the most useful, thought out, best finished vehicles we've ever tested. For yeah, score? absolutely. Uh, it's off the charts again for the Honda Odyssey, 4.25 for fit and finish. Drivability is the final category for the Honda Odyssey Touring. And when you talk about drivability, this category basically describes this vehicle. The one thing that I really think is a cool feature is the really tight turning radius that you wouldn't expect in something this big. Well, it's interesting you bring something like that up. I mean, out of all the things this vehicle does, 
it does also maneuver well in parking lots, but it also drives well. And I hate to coin the phrase that it is a touring model, but it's a great touring vehicle. Yeah. It's a family vehicle. You can pick things up from the garage. You can pick things up from the grocery store. It really is crazy how usable this vehicle is. I test Jag convertibles, Mercedes convertibles, sports cars, Porsche Cayman S, BMW, everything there is across the board. And of all the things my wife gets to test along with me, what does she say she wants? A Honda Odyssey minivan, something I never thought I would ever hear. All right, that's drivability. We'll give it a 4.75 to round out the score for the Honda Odyssey Touring. Let's take a look at how Dennis Nian scored the 2007 Honda Odyssey minivan. For Q-Factor, it did extremely well in the Gadget and Tech score with a 4.5. At Curb Appeal, a 3.5, and bumped up a little bit on performance at a 3.75. In Fit and Finish, another score in the 4s, a 4.25, and finally drivability just a quarter off a perfect score at 4.75. The total for the 2007 Honda Odyssey minivan is 20.75 out of a possible 25. When fuel returns, Ty from Baxter Auto Parts is going to be here in our In the Pit segment. He's going to tell us how the company began.